Good morning guys, Mrs. Z here, and you've caught me in the feed room in our barn. I'm getting ready to feed the calves, and I thought I would just check in with you and let you in on the process of bottle feeding a calf, and then graduating it to feeding it with a bucket, and then with grain. How do we do that process? So welcome, I've got one of my chicks here this morning. Remember buying these chicks with me? a couple of weeks ago at the co-op in Girard. This is what these chicks are looking like now. They grow fast, don't they? I've got a tub full of them here. I'm keeping them in the barn to keep them warm under this heat lamp because we're still getting down into, or into at least the 40s at night and they need warmth until they get a little more size on them. And right here we have our milk replacer. And that, remember, is a substitute for the Monte Carlo's milk. And we mix this powder that comes in the sack from the co-op with water to feed our calves. So I've got five calves to feed this morning. So I'm gonna mix up my buckets with a cup of milk replacer. And I've already put the water in the buckets. And we'll mix that up. And that's what our calves will be eating this morning. Oh, getting down to the bottom of the sack. I'm gonna to have to buy some more today. There we go. And then we take a our whisk here, our wire whisk, and we mix that up. We'll come up and see it, sweetie. And that mixes up all those lumps up. And that's what we need to get rid of all those lumps so those calves can eat their breakfast. And that looks delicious. You know it does. Actually, I wouldn't want to drink this at all. It's for our calves, not for people. So. I've already mixed one bottle up. We've only got one baby still on the bottle. The rest, we've graduated them to the bucket. So let's go on out to the lot and feed those babies. Okay, now we're out in our barn lot and we have two very hungry customers. We have Mike and Betsy. Now Mike has graduated from the bottle to the bucket. So all I have to do is put that down on the ground and he drinks it right up. Now, Betsy, watch this. Betsy's still getting used to the bucket. She still wants to suck the bottle. Look at her trying to suck my hand. Oh, she's aggressive. If I set that bucket there, she just stands and looks at it. Ooh, she's actually, this is what I, yeah, she'll only do a little bit. So what I have to do is give her a pacifier. I put this. Let's turn her around for you. Put this in her mouth and watch what she does. Got it in her mouth. And then she sticks that down in the bucket and starts sucking it through that nipple. Isn't that something? She's messy too. Look at that. She sticks her nose all the way in that milk. When she's sucking that milk like a straw through that nipple. Uh-oh, she dropped it, so now I have to retrieve it. There you go, Bucca. Here you go, Betsy. It's a little trick I learned to get them to start drinking the milk out of the bucket instead of sucking the bottle. Isn't that cool? One of these days, I will continue to take that. I'll, I'll just start taking longer. Get away, get away, Mike. He wants more. He's finished his. Now he wants Betsy's. And so I'm going to keep him occupied by letting him suck my finger. <laughs> and that keeps him occupied a little bit so that he'll leave Betsy alone and she can finish her milk. Look at that. Wouldn't you like a calf to suck on your fingers like that? They have a, they just want to suck. They're babies. He usually comes over and sucks her ear. Watch this. She's almost done, so I'm gonna take my hand away. Now look what he does to her ear. <laughs> He's sucking 
sucking on her ear while she finishes her milk. Now I think she's about done. So let me take the bucket away. Look at her mouth. She's still got her nipple, her pacifier. Now I gotta take that away. Nope, she's about to drop it. There you go, guys. That's how you start a bottle calf on the bucket. Now, now our third baby we're feeding this morning is indeed our bottle baby. This is Dot. Can you say hi to Dot? Yeah, she's timid, very timid. Looky there. She's still on the bottle. We haven't tried the bucket on her yet. There you go. Isn't she pretty? She likes her breakfast. This is my son's calf. They all three are my son's calf. He's starting a cattle herd and this is, these are his, let's see, I think he has five calves already. We're gonna have to talk to him this weekend about his herd. See if we can pin him down when he comes home from college. Oh, Dot likes her breakfast. We have to feed her separately because she's very timid and she gets all upset when there's lots of noise and activity around her and then she won't suck. So we've learned to just separate her from the other two while we feed them and that works out a whole lot better. Won't be long before we'll be trying her on the bucket. We try to graduate them from the bottle to the bucket as soon as possible because when it comes to chores, it's a whole lot faster and a whole lot easier to mix buckets than it is to mix bottles. And I think she's done. I hear air. See if she wants to suck. Good. Great. Now we brought Dot out of that tub. We call that a tub where we work with the calves. And I'm going to try to get her started on grain. We want them to get off of milk as soon as possible and onto grain. And that helps them gain weight. And honestly, that milk replacer is quite expensive when you go to buy it. So we try to get them off of milk replacer and onto grain as soon as possible. And this is how you do it. As soon as you feed them, you introduce the grain by hand. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Mom. All right, so we've, we've got Mike and Betsy now. I've got grain in this little feed trough. Oh, he's still sucking on her ear. Come on, Bubba. Come on, Mikey. You won't get any nutrition out of Betsy's ear. This is the grain that we're giving them. You buy that at the co-op. It's got several grains mixed up and ground, so it makes it easier for them to digest. And you just, after you feed them, you put some in their mouth because they still want to suck. You're the Bubba, Mikey. You're the Bubba boy. Isn't that nice? And then after a while, they learn this grain is here in the bucket. And after they eat or between times, they come over and get it themselves and start eating on their own. That's what we're working towards. Isn't that great? You're doing good. Now, Dot, I tried a little yesterday and got her to take a little few mouthfuls, but not much. She's not quite ready for this yet. She's still Miss Timid. Here you go, Bubba. You the Bubba girl. Yeah. So guys, thanks for joining me at the farm this morning to learn the process of, of uh, transitioning a bottle calf to a bucket calf to a grain fed calf. So you come back, all right? But be sure and like and subscribe so that you can catch more fun adventures at Hickory Creek Farms. You have a great day.